So today we're installing an AeroSkin bug deflector. So this van has had some paint chips on the front of it for a couple of years now. I didn't do my uh, repairs this spring or last fall like I should have. And the last time I drove it, it was raining really hard. And driving at about 80 miles an hour, the water from the rain went under the paint and pushed off the paint in a bunch of different locations. So I can't really tell how well you can see it, but uh, there's a lot of damage to the paint on the hood here. There's actually a dent in the hood here. And uh, there, just, there was a little rock chip that started here. And uh, the water went under the paint all the way down to here. I could see a little line. So as I scratch on that, it's gonna come off. So I started doing some repairs last night. I should have done this one up here with a toothpick. Using a brush was a poor choice because it just went all over the place. And it's had many repairs in the past. I'm trying to keep up on them, but I didn't as of late. And as a result, uh, I'm gonna put on an AeroSkin product here. It's sitting on the back of the car. And it just goes up uh, both that far on the vehicle. It should protect the paint. So I just uh, do a bit of the uh, paint prep. So I just got uh, this device here. This is first kind of sanding and scratching. So we'll take a look at uh, this one here. Kind of see just as uh, scraping on it, I'm right-handed. It removes a, a lot of paint, so this is going to look quite, quite terrible if you were not going to be covering this up. So I'm just going to do that in a few more spots and then touch it up so in here you got to shake it for a little bit and then you can use it so there's a brush there. And I think the clear is on this end here is like that. So that's how that works. So like I said, I'm just gonna do some more prep and then we'll get to work. All right, so I'm just blobbing the paint on here. Just put a tissue underneath so if it drips on the uh, front of the vehicle, you catch it. So again, we're not doing this for beauty. We're just trying to cover the edge so that uh, you can't get any more water underneath of it. Avoid any big runs. So it's got one more area there to do. So the next part of this is just to use some alcohol swabs that they give you in the kit just to clean down uh, the area of the hood. Then there's another prep kit that you use where the uh, tape is actually going to be attaching. So I'm just gonna kinda do most of this and just avoid the areas where I uh, have fresh paint. You should probably wash your hood the day before, get rid of any uh, bugs or anything that might be on it. It's pretty warm out today, so I don't need to worry about long drying times. So I just do the other half of the hood there and I'll move on to the next step. All right, so the next step here is I need to uh, mask off where the uh, visor is going to go on the front of the hood. And uh, so I have to put some tape down around it and clean it off with some kind of special cleaner here. It's got xylene and some other stuff in it. So I think it might be uh, damaging to the paint. So you have to make sure you only put it where the uh, visor is going to go. And it cleans the paint for, again where the uh, tape goes. So I'm just gonna put the visor on, go around it with the electrical tape, just to mask where it needs to be, and then clean the hood one more time. All right, so I masked around the visor. It actually kind of helps you uh, show yourself where you're gonna place it for the final time. So underneath of the visor, you'll see that it's got uh, the tape. So I gotta take six inches off each spot and pull it from one side, top, and then bottom, work my way across after I do the uh, 
cleaning of this area. So I do that with the xylene now. All right, I guess we'll give this a try. So when I did the test fit, I had the uh, leading edge of the plastic hanging just below the leading edge of the hood to protect it from rock chips. And uh, I just got to start all these tabs, which could take a while actually. They uh, take a bit of finesse to get started. They're stuck on quite well. So rather than try to force it, I'll take my time and get these started. And I'll get the camera on again before we place this. All right, so I used the razor blade to take off the uh, edges of the tape here. And you can see that they ran the surface prep on the uh, visor as well, where they were going to put it. So it's sort of like a contact cement or something like that. So now it's time to try to place this thing on the hood here. So I know where one edge is, so I'll kind of feel from here. Alright, so I think I've got it centered from both ends here. Just losing a piece of uh, tape here. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes trying to make sure this is in the right place and then we'll uh, start pulling the tape off. Alright, so i got good gaps all around. So I'll start pulling this off. So you just push in the middle. They don't want you to push too close to the tape or you might uh, tear it. I guess if you were to tear it, you have one chance from the opposite direction. So that's one piece, so I just take off the rest, take off the protective cover after that. All right, so there's the final product. It went on pretty easy. My uh, masking tape was a bit too tacky. It ripped off a chunk of paint, unfortunately. So I started to pull that way. I had to come from the other direction and try and save it. So I'll have to find a sticker to put over that. I'll do a little bit of paint touch up there. And like I said, I'll put some kind of a sticker there. I don't have much of another choice. Eventually all the paint's gonna come off of this van. Like if you look into the edges here, you can see that uh, the primer is showing a lot. And up in uh, the doors here as well, it's starting to come off. So it's a uh, can't win with this vehicle, but we can kind of put it off until later. So for a couple hundred bucks, I think that's uh, a pretty good uh, option for the time being. So thank you for watching.